Welcome to Prime Oncology's uh, expert review on uh, central nervous uh, system relapse of aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphoma. My name is uh, Norbert Schmitz. Uh, I'm from the Asclepius Hospital in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, today I'm joined uh, by Andieszka Korfe from uh, the Charité University Hospital in Berlin, Germany. Today we will be discussing uh, the challenges of managing patients with a central nervous system relapse of aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So, Agnieszka, would you please uh, start by just uh, giving us an overview which kind of histologies, you know, uh, we are expecting CNS relapses, how frequent it is, what is the uh, overall, out what, what are the issues for this kind of patients? Uh, CNS relapse uh, is a rare event uh, in systemic lymphoma, except for Burkitt lymphoma and lymphoblastic lymphoma, which are very aggressive lymphomas. In the most common type of uh, lymphoma, the diff diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, only approximately 2 to 5 percent of all patients develop uh, CNS relapse. Um, the CNS relapse may be localized in the parenchyma, usually in brain parenchyma, in the meninges and cerebrospinal fluid, and in both compartments, which, however, occurs rarely. Uh, approximately 30% of uh, patients with a CNS relapse of a systemic lymphoma also develop a systemic relapse, a simultaneous systemic relapse, according to uh, more recent publications, because previously it was believed to be more uh, frequent. That means that the majority of patients with a CNS relapse of a systemic lymphoma have a controlled systemic disease. Uh, 